Wow, it has been revealed. This is how Tinubu enriches himself. And these are the things they don't even want Nigerians to know. They just keep, you know, enriching themselves, their pockets alone, like other Nigerians are not Nigerian. You know, it is so unfortunate that um, there are some group of people that feel like they're entitled to some things in the country. Even though he was a former uh, governor of Lagos State, there are some, uh, uh, you know, privileges that I should enjoy, but not so much. Because if you hear the amount uh, Tinubu is collecting from Lagos State, you'll be so shocked as to why would the country or even the state be allowing such amount to go to Tinubu? Like, who is he? Yes, really, he could be the leader of the All Progressive Congress, but of course, he was a former uh, governor of Lagos State. Is this how other former governors of Lagos State are also treated? Because it was also a former state a Lagos State uh, leader that also exposed this about what Tinubu does in Lagos State. Anyway, guys, I'll bring you more details about this because it's a very interesting one. But please ensure you subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, turn on the notification bell, ensure you like and also share this video. All right, guys, without further ado, yes, it says that Tinubu takes about 9 billion naira from Lagos internally internally generated revenue account monthly like who does that are you are you kidding me nine billion naira I, I didn't say nine million naira i said nine billion naira from lagos internally internally generated revenue like is that it 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 sounds impossible but really that is it because it is another leader that is making uh this really open to everybody to know what is happening in lagos state well guys don't forget this is saffron media and we're here to give you the best the most trending exciting reliable and authentic happening so stay tuned relax enjoy and get the best right from here yes it says that but a judge a chieftain of the people's democratic party says excessive leakages of revenue and monumental corruption are responsible for slow growth in Lagos state speaking in an interview with with yoruba to tv judge accused Body judge accused Bola Tinubu, national leader of the all progressive congress apc of taking nine billion naira monthly from the Lagos State internally generated revenue account. He said, do you know how much is Lagos State internally generated revenue monthly? Six billion naira minimum. And someone like Tinubu is sitting somewhere taking 15% of it. That's nine billion naira every month, he said. The former deputy national chairman of the PDP said the country's electoral system is fraudulent. He said the way we vote in this country is a scam. That's why I do say we need to be more prayerful and do good. It's not who people voted for that are declared as winners. How won't how won't issue of bullion van won't be related to election? We are just deceiving ourselves. There's a problem in this country. How can we move forward with this? You can't even force people now. We are angry. If you meet people now, they will tell you politicians are bad people. They should get away. Things are hard in this country. And everybody knows that. Judge, but they judge that. Also added that the late Funshaw Williams should have become Lagos State Governor. He is a good man, a very responsible one. He is like a brother to me, my junior then in her, in school. He would have been a better governor of Lagos State, he said. Williams, who was a governorship aspirant in the state, was murdered in July 2006. <clears throat> you know, uh, when people begin to reveal some things that are going on in this country, you keep wondering, like, how has Nigerian even survived all of this? You know, how can Lagos State uh, be uh, generating such amount of money and about 15% goes to a particular person? Like, 
does it even make sense? It looks insane for a sane society because I cannot even say an insane society because it's it's already looking like there are too many insane things going on in the country. So it obviously shows that most things are insane in the country. How can a country like Nigeria be giving, you know, a state be giving one person 15% of the internally generated revenue of that state? You know, it is absurd. And I keep wondering, that is why people are complaining. And Tinobu has bullion van in his compound. And the government did not even do anything about it. You know, during elections, he brings out that bullion van and begins to share money so that his people can win. Like, and we say we have a, a, an independent body that runs election. No, we don't have because it has never been proven that INEC has ever given, you know, the right verdict. They only come out with those that even when they know that election was totally, you know, disrupted or it was wrongly done and all of that, they just leave it like that. Perhaps maybe laziness or they just feel that is how it's supposed to be to favor one person. You know, all of these are things that the Nigerians should actually look into. And if you see some other states too are also going through the same thing. There are some people who have become, you know, godfathers that believe that, yes, without them, a state cannot move forward. And they begin to collect excessive money from their internally internally generated revenue. Just like what Tinubu is doing. How would he not have a bullion van in his compound when on a monthly basis you get about 9 billion naira? Do you know what that means? And there are other privileges he enjoys as a former governor of the state. This is just something that they would not discuss with anybody. This is something that will be kept, you know, secret from the public. But of course, people who are there knows exactly what is going on. That is why you see people in Nigeria, when they join politics, they become excessively rich. You know, some are even caught, you know, outside the country um, laundering money. That is how bad it, could, it, it, it has gotten to. That's how bad it got to. You know, it is terrible that in a country like this, we cannot even track the amount of money that goes into this kind of people's account and the kind of money that comes out and where they got all of those monies from. It is terrible. And now we keep shouting that there's too much corruption. And when you talk about all of this, the presidency comes and they attack you that there's no government better than that of the Buhari's administration. There's no government better that in fact, the, the, the Buhari's government will leave Nigerians better than they met Nigerians. How is that possible? Things have gone too bad that it can only take God to take Nigerians to that promised land. In a city where you have millions of people, one person is going home on a monthly basis without doing anything, sitting and sleeping in his house for what is meant to be for everyone in the state. He bags it about nine billion naira on a monthly basis and nobody is saying anything. Even when it comes to the federal level, the same thing is happening. Imagine what Malami did. He said the, the, the asset recovered from one of the EFCC. He said he's keeping it. But guess what? He said he has spent it. That once they need it, he's going to provide it. Like who 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 does that? They just feel like people are people are, people are people are mad in the country. They do things that will favor them and believe that Nigerians cannot do anything. Indeed, Nigerians are not doing anything, but I hope that Nigerians wake up really soon. So, my dear people, that is it. Thank you so much for listening. Please drop a comment, give this video a thumbs up, and also don't forget to share and like our videos. Do have a pleasant time. Bye for now.